How to replace the encoder card on the KEB F5 R and U housing drives. Before getting started, it is important to note that all electronic components are susceptible to damage from electrostatic discharge or ESD, and it is strongly recommended to use proper ESD safe procedures, such as wearing an ESD wrist strap connected to ground when handling electronic components. This will minimize the possibility of damage from ESD. First, disconnect power to the drive, lock out the main supply, and allow the DC bus to discharge. Unlock the two black plastic pins that fasten the top cover to the drive, then remove the top cover and the keypad. Next, disconnect the encoder cable from the X3A, X3B terminals of the drive's encoder card. Depending on the type of encoder card, the cable connections will either be made with a sub-D plug or removable terminal strips. At this point, it would be a good idea to inspect the encoder cable for any signs of damaged wiring or broken or missing pins. Replace the cable if necessary. Remove the drive nameplate and then remove the two standoff screws that secure the encoder card. Remove the encoder card by holding the edges of the card and gently pulling it off using a slight back and forth rocking motion. Installation of the new card is the reverse. Position the encoder card as to align the encoder card pins to the corresponding sockets on the control card's header connector and carefully plug the encoder card into the control card header. Check the connection of the encoder card to the control card by verifying that each encoder card pin is properly seated in the corresponding socket in the control card header. Then install the two standoff screws to secure the encoder card to the control card. Reinstall the drive nameplate. Reconnect the encoder cable to the X3A, X3B terminals of the drive's encoder card. Reinstall the keypad and top cover and restore power to the drive. The drive should now be ready for service. In the case that the encoder feedback type is being changed, for example the changing from incremental to NDAT, the drive error E.HYBC may be triggered. This indicates that the drive recognizes the feedback type has changed. Depending on the drive software version, the error may clear itself or it may need to be cleared manually. To clear the error manually via the keypad, access parameter 0.LF.26, press the function key. The current feedback type will be displayed. Press the enter key to accomplish the feedback type. The display will show UPDTG and then return to NOP once the feedback type has been updated. The feedback type can also be updated through the background drive parameter EC.00. Contact KEB if assistance is needed.